Hey guys, what's up? Brandon here. Hope you're having a great week so far. Um, so I had a lot of good feedback for the, the loose bait casters, the SLPs, the LFS and the BB1s, the part two, uh, part one and two video I did. Um, if you haven't checked that out, leave, I'll leave that in the description below. Um, so I wanted to do a loose rods video and not really cover all the rods, but just in the last few years, loose has really put a lot of effort into the technologies of their rod building. And a lot of them I think are really innovative and really cool. So I wanted to show you those today. And but anyways, let's, let's jump right into it. Uh, well, the first rod is the, um, the technology I wanted to show you is the TP1 Black. Um, this rod retails for 129, um, but the cool thing about this rod is the um, VTR, the vibration transfer ring. And what that is, is, um, I'm gonna zoom and get in here a little closer. So what that is, is basically a ring with little metal teeth in it. And um, those metal teeth are directly touching the, the blank. So what that does is um, with, Every real seat or grip, you lose a little bit of that feel because of its, its extra, extra component around the rod, um, padding, whatever it is. So this right here is, those metal teeth are connected to this piece of plastic and that's providing you direct contact with that blank. So when I put my hand up on this reel, my pinky finger, at least in my case, is wrapped around that vibration transfer ring touching that giving me direct blank contact so that's a cool technology there as a vtr that came out a few years ago um, aside from that that this rod just looks good cosmetically just the all black um, black wind grips um, the, the the other thing with a lot of the rods have the wind grips and they've had those for a few years now too um, but the thing about wind grips is um, wet or dry they're still going to remain tacky um, and they just feel good too. But a wet or dry, they remain tacky, so obviously that's gonna help you grip the rod on casting and setting the hook. Um, the other part of this rod, uh, the cool part of it, they, which they have on other rods too, but is the, these, the, the guides right here. So this, this guide is a microwave, American Tackle Microwave Air Guide. But what this does, the technology behind this is basically to increase your casting distance. In my opinion, it works a lot better on the spinning rods because with a spinning rod, when you cast, um, you're getting a lot more loop from that reel, that line coming off. And what this is supposed to do is kind of reduce that loop so it kind of channels that line a little quicker, which um, reduces the friction on that line and gets your bait out further. So that's the TP1 Black, which is a great rod. Um, the next rod technology I want to show you is, let's move this down here, the Custom Plus Super Grip that they came out with a couple years ago. And it also has a VTR, same thing right here for that little you know, quick uh, grip contact you got there. Um, but the cool thing about this rod is the grip. It's um, flat on top, so if you're a golfer at all, the golf, this technology has been around for a long time. It's the, the flat top for putter grip. So basically the idea behind it is when you're, when you're golfing is you, you're able to kind of hold that rod steady or that club steady in your hand where it doesn't roll, especially when you're putting, you don't want that club head to roll at all or turn at all. Cause that, you know, you want it kind of like a grandfather clock where you just, it doesn't change. It just goes in the same motion with your putt. So that's kind of the same idea here is, which I found, I like it a lot on casting because when you make a cast and you can put your thumb on that top of that rod and really throw it and there's no roll or no play, you don't worry about slippage. It just, it just feels good as well as setting the hook. You get a little bit more um, grip on that rod. And when you're back, your hands setting on that rod and there's no, like there's no roll um, or less, less roll um, in my opinion on that. Um, so I just, I just really like it personally. Uh, this is actually my jig rod um, because of that reason right there, because of that setting the hook on big fish. Um, I just feel like, I just like that where it doesn't roll. Um, so that's the um, Custom Plus Super Grip um, rod with that with that type of style of handle. And that, um, that, um, that one retails for, this one's kind of a range from 179 to 199. Um, so there's a little bit of range just because of the length of the blank, but, um, if you like, if you're kind of into the end of that kind of grip, or you just want to see it as a little bit thicker too, uh, check out the Custom Plus Super Grip rod. 
The next technology I want to show you, there's um, kind of a two part in this series. I'll put that there. And this is the custom, uh, the custom uh, speed sticks, custom rods. So uh, you've probably seen them. They've had the custom series out for a while. Um, they were white and then black, so the two part, two toned. Um, you've probably noticed those before, but now they're all they're all black. Um, kind of made them pretty sleek looking. So this one's got the G clutch uh, handle system, and if you see it. You can see that there's no, the, the grip here, the real seat doesn't wrap around. So if I turn it to the back side, if you can tell there, it's just, it's the blank there and that real seat doesn't wrap around and then there's the top where you just, the reel sits right on there. So it's real streamlined, minimal, and obviously, again, your, your hand is sitting on that reel and the back of your hand where your finger goes is touching that blank directly on that blank the whole way. So you're getting that maximum sensitivity and that feel of that rod. Um, with this one, since that doesn't, the reel seat's a little bit different, it actually tightens from the back side to tighten the reel on. Um, I have a swim jig, I use a swim jig in, in this rod and um, it just, it's a great, because of the, I use a custom light reel with it and then this blank, which is with this reel seat is just, ultra light and I can fish all day. It's just a really great feeling setup to me. So um, you can check, that's the custom um, speed sticks, custom rods, and that's the casting model. And these, these are about 149. Um, also in the same series as the, cut and the, as the custom, is this, this is a spinning model. And they have the CT1 um, Comfort Plus or Comfort Touch grip. Uh, so what that is, is basically your spinning reel would hang right here and the, your grip is seamless. So you're, you're, when you grip on the rod, you're holding the whole thing as a grip essentially. And again, this, this kind of back here tightens it on for you. If you, you, know, you can see now where the reel would go right there. Um, but just, uh, that's, I just think it's really cool. That's a really innovative technology, just making that streamlined grip and good feel. Again, a light blank, um, just a, a great rod, great technology. Um, and these are uh, HM60 blanks, so a great, good, good blank for a $149, $150 rod. So if you're interested in that, like the look of them, like that technology, those are the custom, custom rods. And then the last, kind of the last, the newest technology is the, this is a, a full contact, uh, grip here so kind of the similar to the g clutch but it doesn't it wraps around on the front here kind of has a you know goes down and grips around but you're still on that back side you still have that contact where your hand your finger that would wrap around that reel thumbs up here wrap around that reel you're having that direct contact with that blank which is pretty cool um and then you, it's just got the standard where you tighten this on. This is the, the new KVD uh, rod, one of them. Um, got a pretty large series there, so you got a lot to choose from there. But um, obviously, KVD's behind it. It's a great, great rod. Um, put in a lot of effort to get the actions right. Um, but this is only a $99 rod, so very affordable on that, that lower, lower end of your the budget. Um, but still you're getting a great rods. I am eight blank, a really good blank. On the tips, they put zirconian inserts, which basically what that means, they put a bigger, a better, beefier tip on, is what that means is it makes it just stronger. That's all it does. And so if you're poking baits out from a log or something and get stuck, last thing you wanna do is bust out the eyelet. We've all done it. So that's just gonna make that, that rod a little bit stronger and last a little bit longer. I want to go over my three favorites as far as high price, the mid range to lower priced, and I'm gonna start at the top, um, which is the 200. It's a 250 dollar, roughly. It goes up a little bit below. It's over the range again, depending on what you get. But we'll, we'll put it right in the middle, kind of at 250. Um, is the Custom Pro Ledge Series, and uh, so the, there's a Custom Pro series, the whole series. The Custom Pros actually have a split grip. So it's, you know, the grip here and then a blank and standard, which the, with the same kind of cork inlay. Um, 
but the custom ledge series it's all a full length grip it's kind of got the palm swell here um, and then it bows down and then gets back up here which i actually like that where it goes skinny and then comes back up here it just gives me on the cast just i just have more to hold on to i actually didn't think at first i would like the full length grip but after using this one i, I don't really i just like these a lot i like the full-end grip this gives me more area when i'm you know going to cast just to grab you know grab the right part to throw not grabbing a blank um but uh, nothing fancy with the, the real seat here um just their soft touch real seat just what they call it um it's got a little bit of that little blank contact you got there behind the rod or behind the real seat um, but these are just great blanks that the highest end blank they make. They're the LFS X5 blanks, which is just a top of the line blank. The actions, in my opinion, are really good in this rod. I really just, especially the small crankbait rod is my favorite for throwing square bills or just smaller crankbaits around. It just, it just feels right to me. And I feel like it's got a good enough tip with a good backbone in it, which I, I feel like regardless of the size of fish, I'm be able to get it to the boat. Um, so, and then the mid range is the one I've already talked about just a little bit, and that's the TP1 Black. I really just like the, the actions in this are really good. Cosmetics, obviously, I just, that's one of my favorite looking. I just like that sleek black look. Um, they come in a variety, not, a, it's not a big of range as like the Custom Pro with all the different, uh, you know, styles that they have or, you know, techniques, uh, but the, enough that you can, you know, flip with them or, throw a jerk bait or just a square bill or whatever, you know, it's got enough of a range that it, I, I really like. And I just, it's obviously got that guide technology. It's got an HM50 blank. So just a good blank. Um, and it's not real high price. It's 129. So it's, I think it's affordable, good looking, um, good solid rod. So if, you, if that's something you like the look of or just the price, check that one out. And then lastly is the 90, a $99 rod. This is the TP1X. Um, they have the TP1 already, which is the same price. Um, similar look with a white blank, but this is their kind of their, their new um, new addition, the new new models, new series of the, the TP1X. So this is a good blank again. It's HM40 blank. It's got the wind dry tack grips that just look good, the gray and the white. Um, overall, it's cosmetically, it looks good. Actions are good. But I mean, for a ninety-nine dollar rod with that that type of blank, that's a that's a that's a really good buy in my opinion for what you're getting out of those rods. All right, guys. Obviously, Luz has a lot more rods to show, um, but uh, for for now, I just wanted to show you the technologies. I feel like they're really on the leading edge of rod building, and uh, I just, if it's proven there and the technologies I've shown you, and then obviously with the rods I like, um, those are always changing. For now, that's what they are because Luz is obviously coming out with new stuff all the time that's really pushing the envelope. So I, I just wanted to show you that my three favorites right now and kind of maybe fit your budget a little bit for your low, middle, and high. And like I said before, if you haven't seen the, um, the, the Lose Reels videos that I've done, the buyer's guides, make sure you go back and watch those. I'll leave those in the description below. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.